February the 22nd, 1987, the dawn of a new day and the dawn of a new era in civil aviation. The world's newest and most technologically advanced airliner, the Airbus Industry A320, is ready to take to the sky. Flight testing is only one facet of an intensive engineering evaluation and extensive documentation of data. Another part of the picture is formed by ground trials, following the installation of systems and test equipment. As part of the fatigue testing process, the wings of an A320 are prepared for punishing wing bending load tests. Standing up to stresses far in excess of those experienced during the thousands of flights the aircraft will perform in airline service. The impact of ice, hail or birds is rigorously simulated. The wear and tear on landing gear exaggerated. For the engines, ingestion tests are also carried out to ensure the power plant can withstand the impact of foreign bodies, whether mineral, vegetable or animal. In the unlikely event of a blade fracture, the fragments are expelled harmlessly through the rear of the engine. The Airbus A320 is the first airliner with digital fly-by-wire controls. Conventional analog control systems have been surpassed by highly developed computer-based control modules. The A320's high level of computerization creates a more refined and efficient interface for real-time telemetry. Stringent tests proved conclusively that all A320 systems will carry on functioning effectively whatever the hazard encountered. Even in bad stall conditions, the A320 automatically regains its original flight altitude. Exhaustive aerodynamic assessment includes fixing tufts to the airframe and engines to help assess airflow characteristics. Flutter trials are conducted using wingtip mounted vanes, which apply controlled forces to the aircraft structure. Measurement of the ways these stresses are absorbed is an important confirmation of the A320's strength and integrity. The successful conclusion of VMU, or minimum unstick speed trials, represents another important milestone on the way to certification. Maximum energy braking tests, deliberate overstressing of brakes and tires with both engines at full throttle. Protection systems automatically deflate the tires as the heat starts to dissipate. Flooding the specially prepared runway at Bretigny near Paris. The A320 runs through a water-filled trough to demonstrate that water ingestion by the engines is minimal and does not affect engine operation nor air conditioning systems. Simulated ice shapes are attached to the unprotected leading edges of the inner wing, the fin and the tail plane to confirm that A320 handling qualities are not affected in severe icing conditions.
real ice forms part of the program too. Here, the Airbus A320 undergoes a cold soak test in northern Sweden. At Lulia, well within the Arctic Circle, the A320 stands outside all night in a temperature of more than 20 degrees centigrade below freezing. After normal de-icing procedure the following day, no problems on startup nor during the subsequent test flight, proving that cabin temperature regulation and air conditioning specifications make this an ideal all-weather aircraft. a simulated emergency evacuation. 179 passengers of all ages and both sexes clear the aircraft in less than 90 seconds with half the doors blocked and in pitch darkness. Over 50 hours of flight testing were devoted to demonstrating how the A320's fly-through computer systems reduce pilot workload. The physical reactions of the pilots are carefully monitored and recorded. Emergency scenarios are simulated with the participation of airworthiness authority observers and pilots, showing that the A320's computerized systems leave the pilot free to cope with dangerous situations. A hot debriefing takes place in the aircraft immediately after each of these tests, enabling observers to get the immediate reactions of the participants. And on the ground, a general debriefing covers all the points that have come to light and sets the tone for the next day's test flight. As well as proving it can cope with the unexpected, the A320 successfully carries out 100 hours of route proving as a further demonstration to airworthiness authorities. For the first time, passengers experience true wide body comfort in a single aisle aircraft, a more spacious cabin with wider seats and aisle for passenger comfort, plus the ability to carry reduced height LD3 containers, fully interchangeable with wide body aircraft. Real airline service. More than 100 hours in 70 flights were performed jointly with Air France as part of the certification program. The aircraft visited 18 European and two North African airports, carrying out flight under normal airline rules, with 50-minute turnarounds, punctual departures and crew changes. The climax of over 1,200 hours of A320 flight testing, the A320 achieves the first ever European certification, jointly awarded by the British, French, German and Dutch authorities. A320 certification both thoroughly proves the pioneering design of the aircraft and opens up new horizons for European technology. <laughs>